In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the panic button. Now, the panic button is designed to help you out when you find that you really feel like drinking or you feel like you could just use some support right away. So to open the uh, panic button application, first you click on this arrow icon, then come up here and click on this lifesaver icon. The first screen you see when you open the panic button is a confirmation screen. Click yes. And automatically a text message is generated um, to a friend of yours asking for support. Now in order for this to send, you've got to click this little send icon in the corner. I want it to go, so I send it. Now if I hit the center button on my Palm Pre two times, I can close the text message window and go back to the panic button application. Now while I'm waiting for a response on that text message, I can also pick a friend from a list to call. Or I can uh, click on more suggestions. Now in order to suggest something, HS needs to know um, what's the problem, how, how am I feeling. So from this menu, I select what's troubling me. I'm feeling anxious. Uh, now I'm given three suggestions about actions I can take to try to feel better. I can listen to some guided relaxation, find a meeting. There's going to be more about those services in other tutorials. Um, but for example, if I do click on listen to some guided relaxation, I'm brought directly uh, to the audio player um, and I can listen to this tape all the way through or I can hit the center button on my Palm Pre to back up a step and try one of the other suggestions. Once I'm done, I can hit the center button again and I am brought back to the HS main menu where I can access any of the services or if I hit the center button one more time I can close the application. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the My Network application. Um, and this is a place where you can go to interact with other people who are in the study. You can share photos, uh, get involved with a discussion board. You can do a lot of the same things that you can do with uh, Facebook. So to open this application, click on the arrow icon. And then click on the little umbrella icon that says My Network. And when this comes up, you're going to see you have a couple of different options. The first thing you're going to want to do is to tend to your own profile click here you see that um, you can fill out as much of the information about yourself as you would like to do uh, just by clicking on edit my profile of course I have photos and um, the way to add another photo uh, that you take with the pre uh, itself is to go up here and click on this HS bar and go down and click on share photos Now let's go back and see what else we've got here. Back again. Now if you uh, look at this icon here, we've got multiple people. It's meet your support team. I click here and I can see the other people who are on study with me. And if I click on one of them, I get to look at what they've chosen to share about themselves. And just like with Facebook, I can leave them comments. I can look at their photos. Now let's jump back. The third option we have here is to join in on a discussion. And what we've got here is a discussion board that is limited to the people who are on study. And this can't be looked at by anybody who is not on study. If I click on one of these topics, I can respond to it by adding a comment and typing in whatever I want to say. Anytime that I'm in the My Network application, I can use these quick buttons down at the bottom to get to all the different services. Now the last one I want to show you is um, this one here. It's like a little envelope. And this is just 
an email service. You can create a message and you can send it to any of the people who are in your recovery network. Works like any other web-based email. Go back to the home. And if I want to see what people have been doing who are on study with me, I can always click on Recent Activity. And it details all of the different things that people have been doing within my network. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use the Our Stories application. Now, using Our Stories, you can listen to others talk openly about their own recovery experiences. So to open this application, tap first on this arrow icon. Now go up to the scroll and quill icon. Tap that. And when it opens up, you see what's basically a list of names. You can click on any one of these names and hear that person tell their own story. So um, I think I'll listen to Bob's story right now. And before I click on this, um, I may want to put my headphones in the jack on the top side of my pre uh, for privacy's sake. I click on it. It opens up and it starts playing the story. Um, you can use the controls at the bottom of the screen to rewind or fast forward. And when you're done listening to the story, just hit the center button on your pre and you go back to the list of names. Now at this point you can either listen to more stories or you can hit the center button one more time to uh, get to the HS main menu where you can access all of the other HS services. Now, if you click the center, center button one more time, you can exit the application completely and you're back to your pre-desktop. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the Recovery Info application. To open the application, first click on the arrow icon and then go and click on this question mark icon. What opens up here is uh, a list of several categories of content that you can explore, and I will briefly explain each one of them. Ask an Expert is a service um, which allows you to uh, type out a question that you might have about recovery or health in general and receive an answer from a recovery expert within 48 hours. Easing Distress is an all audio service. If you click on it, you see that um, each one of these is a guided relaxation and you can use your headphones uh, plugged into your palm pre to listen to these anywhere anytime. Instant Library includes articles about recovery. The Open Expert service are archived questions that have been asked via the Ask an Expert service. Question and answers are uh, frequently asked questions about recovery. And then there are recovery related web links. One way to explore all the content that's in the recovery info application is by selecting a keyword, which is basically a search term. Say I'm interested in all of the content that has to do with family and friends. I can click here and it's all sorted out for me.